it's Inverness Cali Thistle for Scotland under 18s versus England under 18s in the Centenary Shield. It's a big game for both teams. This one, if we see the table, a win for Scotland would take them to eight points. It would mean that they would share the shield with Northern Ireland as goal difference does not come into play in this tournament at the top of the table. As for England, if they can win, then they go to Dublin to play the Republic of Ireland next week, knowing that a win there would hand them the centenary shield. However, if this game is a draw, then Northern Ireland will win the shield outright for the first time since 1999. Our special guest this evening is Scotland youth coach Ross Matthew. We'll be getting the thoughts of Ross at half time. But without further ado, let's hand straight to our commentators, Dean Sturridge and first, Tony Jones. Scotland versus England is always special. And having pulled on the blue and white jerseys, the chance to enjoy the national anthems. <laughs> Scotland for Scotland. Scotland know if they win tonight, they share the centenary shield with Northern Ireland, the first time in ten years that have been on the roll of honour. Goalkeeper Short, left-back Lawson and left-winger Burns are all with Stenhouse Muir. Skipper Urquhart and Ronald are with Queen's Park. Ronald has been troubled by a shoulder injury. Right-back Devlin plans to pursue a professional career, joining Motherwell from Dumbarton at the end of the season. England were in Poland for a friendly last week, but manager Andy Williams experimented with his lineup, making numerous substitutions in a 4 1 defeat. Tom Boachi played last season when England beat Scotland at Carlisle and is still one of the 17 year olds on show. Josh Glover has been past fit after being troubled by a hamstring injury. Fabio Abreu is starting for the first time. Manager Williams saying that England need to be more adventurous. It is Abreu. His first start for England at under-18 international level. Don't forget that all these boys are still in full-time education. He is in the youth team at Mosley in the northwest. Nicky Devlin is already hoping to pursue a professional career. He's featured this season for Dumbarton. And the boy from Turnbull High is on his way to Motherwell when he finishes his academic studies in the summer. Officials are all from north of the border. Our referee is Matt Northcroft. Not a couple of permutations available. If Scotland win tonight, they share the centenary shield with Northern Ireland. If England win, either Northern Ireland or England will take the centenary shield. England with their final fixture next week against the Republic of Ireland. There is Stuart Taylor, who's in charge of Scotland. He shares responsibilities with... Stuart Nielsen. Familiar figure to those involved with schools football in Scotland. Andy Williams in his first season in charge of England. It's rather different in England. The English Schools FA deciding to give their head coach or manager just two years in charge. And Andy Williams from Merseyside has taken over this season from Phil Nardiello. Bill Nardiello did hope to go for that. Everybody determined to shake off the nerves, and both teams clearly want to impose themselves early on. Maybe a little fussy from Matt Northcroft there, but Scotland were on the front foot and were preparing to take a shot on, and just so he has that little bit of trickery. Well, there's no grey area for either side, is it? In terms of them knowing what is required, they need a win and under pressure. All the Scotland attacks have come on this right hand side in the first eight or nine minutes of this game. Scotland with a chance to push away forward. Joined now by Jamie Clark. Burns. Work out over the top. Trying to settle himself to get the shot away, then the skipper. Yeah, he had decent technique, uh, Cart. Bounced to him at a difficult height, and he did try to keep hold of it. Just gets underneath it. Gaining confidence. Where has made a late move forward. Swept in by Burns. And it was Burns with a header just wide. It was a presentable chance, that, for Scotland. Well, I think Scott Cheatham just does enough. 
because it may have just put him under pressure. Good ball in by Burns. frustrated that they didn't emerge with more than a point from their fixture at Dumfries against the Republic of Ireland. They had the ball in the net in the very last minute, but it was ruled out. That second goal. The Irish with a wet. Ronald. Lennox. Problems here for England. They needed the assistance of Thompson to clear the danger. Cleverly worked free kick routine by Scotland. They haven't had much time on the training ground, but they worked that almost to perfection. Well, a few of the England players switched off, but Thompson didn't, and it was very important because he takes up a very good position. Threat is always there from Aware and Clark. Will Scotland vary their corner kick routine? Looking for a wear. Urquhart. Easy run by Urquhart, who just overran. Devlin. Knocked away by Boach. Burns won't give up the chase. Urquhart. Freo. Lennox. <laughs> Stockland getting increasingly comfortable in possession. Urquhart. Ronald. And just that half a chance, didn't he, Ronald? The, the ball in from Urquhart was a decent one. Subsequently joined Barnet. Well, the 18 year old is yet to feature in League Two. Johnson. He's pushed behind for a corner kick. This is all from the pressure of Owen Ronald initially. It sets Scotland on the front foot. All cleared. His teammate got a call. Man on. I think it was calm and composed, wasn't it? Under a bit of pressure. Burns. Urquhart! It's a really good attempt. The skipper driving forward. Yeah, sorry, Tony. As soon as it came across to him, you expected him to hit the target. It's a difficult one coming across him. And real good technique. Oh, oh. Urquhart. Now Burns. <laughs> Milton to provide the width. Support arriving from Devlin. Support which Milton has ignored. Helped away by Boy with Northern Ireland. If England win, then it's either Northern Ireland or England. A draw of no use to either of these teams. The old enemy meeting again, this time at under 18 international level. So just the one change at half time. Losing out to Burns. And it seems as if it might have been six and two threes. They were both having a little chip away at one another. You see, Boachi doesn't agree with the decision. How long before they, they look to yeah, abandon caution and just go for it? Sooner just rather go out than to later. get that goal. Yeah, sorry, Tony, I think sooner rather than later. Fresh wide by Lennox. Yeah. It's always worth a try. Well, it did open up for him, didn't it? He had the space, he had that grass ahead of him, so he just needed one touch out of his feet, just screws his shot, doesn't he? Keep him put under real pressure. But took it really well, did Dean Shaw. Kennedy. 
in towards Scott. It's come to Scott. Scotland have their goal. It's Stuart Love who's put it in. Is that going to be the goal that gives Scotland a share of the centenary shield in Northern Ireland? Just look what it means. Oh, unfortunate for Connor Thompson. He tries to head it back to his goalkeeper. But Al Sharp is a Scotland player who just rolls it into Stuart Love in its really composed finishing. Michael Scott picks up the pieces, crosses it in to Love, and it's a real composed finish. And that may just be the winner. And this could go a long way to Scotland winning the Centenary Shield. Scotland making a further change, eating up a few extra seconds. Encouragement for his teammates from Jordan Burns, who's going off to loud cheers as well to be replaced now by Connor Connolly.